Hi folks, my name is Chuck, Chuck Newt, and I'm with the Winking Pig Barbecue, and you're watching a new episode of Chuck's the Cooking. And tonight I'm going to do a little bit of experimental cooking in that I found a recipe that I wanted to make for banana bread, but I decided to change it up a little bit because the other day, uh, two, three days ago, was actually national was National Sweet Potato Day. So I made some baked sweet potatoes the other day. And I've got some leftover sweet potato and I got to thinking that mashed sweet potato is very similar to the consistency of mashed bananas. And so I'm going to kind of morph a recipe from a banana bread and turn it, a banana nut bread, excuse me, and turn it into a sweet potato nut bread. And so I'm going to try to see how this works out. I don't have any clue. I've never made this before. Uh, it just seemed like something that would fit. So let's get turned around. Let's see where we're going with this. Now I've got this cookbook. It's a Betty Crocker cookbook. And I can't find a copyright on the thing. But I'm saying based upon the stove there and also some of the other things that I've read in that, in this book, I believe that this is probably another 50s, a 1950s or 1960s cookbook here. Now in this recipe that we're going to use is this one right here. And then it says to use this other recipe up here as the basis. So everything is going to maintain except we're going to take the uh, orange juice out of this and I'm going to be switching the Oh, shortening out for butter. So this is what we're going to be up to. I'm also going to be adding a tablespoon of, of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg into this. So let's get, let me get things moved around here and we'll be back. Okay, so the first thing I need is three quarters of a cup of chopped nuts. Now these are pecans and I'm thinking maybe a whole cup of whole pecans once chopped will turn into about three quarters of a cup of pecans once they are chopped. Does that make sense? Okay, well there's about a cup. I've got more down below in a drawer. If I need them, I don't want to make a powder out of this. I think that's going to be good. I'm going to set that back out of the way. Now, I'm going to start with my dry ingredients. I've got one or two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of whole wheat flour here. Now, and as I told you, I've got one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and a quarter... Um, wait a minute. Let's back up. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Put that all in there. Now I need three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda. <laughs> Two, three, and a half. I'll mix that up. Now 
Now I'm going to set that back out of the way. I'm going to get my other bowl back out. And I'm going to mix in my uh, one cup of brown sugar, which I had to soften in the microwave and it has sit for an hour or so. And now it's kind of hardened back up again. I got one large egg donated from my chickens outside. And one cup of whole milk. And we need to mix this up real good. That, that brought the sugar back. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our one cup of It'll cooperate. Mashed sweet potato here. Whoops. That was almost a mess. By the way, that is baked sweet potato. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but there you go. So this is a quick bread recipe. And as you'll see, as far as mixing it up, it's going to be very quick. I'm going to pour this into our mixing bowl. Need to measure out um, three quarters of a cup of these nuts. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> that looks like about three quarters. Maybe a little more. That's all right. Seem to be good at splashing the flour here. <laughs> Smells good. I smell that cinnamon. Trying to rig out the firepower here. It's getting awful thick for this whisk. I didn't think it was going to get this thick. I thought it was going to be more like a batter. Well, that's some work. I need to preheat my oven at 350 degrees. You know what? I forgot something. I almost messed up. I almost forgot the butter. Two tablespoons of butter. That's two tablespoons by my eyeball. Let's 
softened butter, by the way. Okay, we're supposed to turn this batter into a well greased cake pan. It's well enough greased to me. Okay, now I, it says we're supposed to let that sit for 20 minutes. So we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so the directions say 70 minutes in the oven. So we're going to get this thing turned around, or turn around. We're going to get this thing put in the oven for 70 minutes here. Actually, I'll probably check it in about 60 minutes. And it says that a toothpick inserted into the center should come out clean. So we'll give it about an hour and we'll give it a check and if it needs the extra 10 minutes, we'll go for it. All right, folks, doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, it's been one hour and I tested it to the center as far as my toothpick will reach and it comes out clean. Now, I'm gonna let that rest for a little bit and we'll come back to it. All right, folks. So I've gone ahead, all I just did, <laughs> all I had to do was take a knife and run it around the inside of the pan there. And it came right out, not a problem. That certainly looks like something worth trying to eat here, doesn't it? I think so. So I'm going to cut a slice or two. It's nice and spongy, feels in the inside. Maybe a little crusty on the bottom. Now doesn't that look great? Maybe something like that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Alright, let's get turned around and it's time to taste the test to the taste test this. <laughs> I'll get it right sooner or later. Alright folks, well you saw how easy that was, and it really was easy except for the stirring part. That was a pretty tough stir there. It smells wonderful, and now it's time to give this a try. It has a nice sweetness to it, nice mellow sweetness to it, and wow. Let me think. Kind of reminds me a little bit of carrot cake. Mmm. I really like this. I could do it again. Mmm. Folks, my next adventure is going to be a rhubarb pie. So you might want to hit like and subscribe down here in the bottom right hand corner. And folks, if you like what you're seeing, down here in the bottom right hand corner. Hit like and subscribe. Hit like and subscribe and stay tuned because there's always more to come. And thanks for watching.